Today I have a day at home, a day off from my busy job as a doctor. I'm still going to be productive though, so I thought I could show you exactly what I get up to and we can spend the day together. Let's get into it. to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. It's suitable for beginners, pros, dabblers and masters. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and skill level. It's the start of the new year, so it's your chance to learn something new that you've always wanted to try. I'm really excited to join Rachel Glotter and Daniel Inskeep's class, DIY Product Photography, Style and Shoot Creative Skills. My sister and I are looking to grow our Etsy shop this year and learning more about how to make our products look amazing in photos is going to be absolutely mega. What I love about Skillshare is that the classes are broken down into lessons of around 10 minutes or less, which means that you can easily dip in and out of them. All of the vital info is distilled down without any filler. I can do a Skillshare class while I eat my breakfast or even on my break at work. Yearly subscription is less than $10 a month. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. So first things first, it's time to take Bonnie for a walk and today is so gorgeous and sunny, it's lovely to be out. Good morning guys. I have a day off today. I've been working in the hospital for the last few days. I did a few night shifts in the emergency department and today is my first day off. I had a lazy lion this morning and I'm now getting myself up and dressed. I think it's about 11 o'clock. Vince brought me a cup of tea in bed and he's gone off to work so I've got the house to myself with Bonnie of course and I've got a list of things I want to get done both productive things and just some nice things like painting my nails and cleaning the house whenever I work a few shifts in a row and Vince is really busy with work the house ends up being an absolute tip so we're gonna have a productive day today I thought I'd take you along with me and we can do all the things I have to do together Every single room in our house is really messy at the moment. I've got loads of Christmas presents along here that need wrapping and sorting and some recycling to go away. The bathroom needs a clean and our main bedroom is just so messy. I don't really know how we let it get like this, but a bit of tidying and cleaning and we'll sort it all out today. I've mentioned in recent vlogs that we are moving house soon and one of the things I'm really excited about is to have a dressing table to do my hair at. I normally just sit cross-legged on the floor in front of a mirror and do my hair there, which is absolutely fine. And I do my makeup standing up in front of my chest of drawers and mirror, but I am really excited to have my own dressing table. I've never had one before. Do any of you sit on the floor to do your hair or makeup? So my outfit of the day, I am going for pure comfort. I'm going to link everything in the description box below. I'm basically going to be wearing sports gear because I just want to be comfortable. I've got a really nice heat tech top that I got from Uniqlo. If you guys don't know about these, they're absolutely amazing. I would definitely recommend them for layering. They're so soft and they keep you so cozy. And then I have this zip up top from Amazon. I love this top. I'm going to buy in some more colors. It's so affordable and it's got these little thumb loops which I love and then you can hook these over your hands so if you're out and about and you forget to wear gloves really useful zippy pockets which are always always very much appreciated and it's got this beautiful curved waist to it so it gives a really flattering shape I love this jacket so much and then from the same brand I've also got these leggings ignore all the fluff on them but again these are really really well made and I can't believe how good quality they are for the price definitely check out the link below if you're after some more sports gear so here's what the sports bra and leggings look like on this is quite a nice uh, sports bra for low impact cardio. I like just wearing it around the house for walking and yeah, just pottering about. The leggings are so nice and thick. Um, they feel really good quality. Now I've never owned a pair of Lululemons, but I've heard people saying on YouTube that they are similar quality to Lululemons. So a nice little money saving tip for you there. And I will of course link them down in the description box below. And then here is the heat tech top. 
so unbelievably soft, so comfy. I have about five or six of these in different colours. I've got ones that are really low scoop necks so you can wear them under jumpers without them showing and yeah, just love them. I would highly, highly recommend buying a few of these to wear underneath things. They're an absolute staple for me and I just wish I had bought them sooner. So, so good. And this is what the jacket looks like on. I wear this multiple times per week and I've had it for well over a year. It washes really well, it hasn't shrunk. I'm going to buy it in more colours. I've got my eye on the beige colour and black. Um, yeah, I just love it. It's an absolute staple for me. Really great for layering, great piece of sportswear, but I just like to wear it a lot for dog walking and lounge wear. So my hair and makeup are done for no other reason other than to make myself feel good. I don't know about you guys, but I find it so easy to just stay in pyjamas all day and slob about. And then before you know it, the day is gone and you're like, oh, I haven't done anything. And that's fine. It's totally okay to have a few relaxed days here and there where you don't, just don't do a lot. But I've got things to do. I want to push the needle forward and get some of my projects moving and going. So I do not want to have one of those days today. I also find that when I am productive and I'm getting things done, it means that I'm not procrastinating and like just feeling bad about not getting things done. And it means that later I can relax in the knowledge that I have actually been productive. So that is what I'm planning to do today. Having gone to medical school and now being a doctor, I'm very used to having very small amounts of free time. And I like to be very productive. I'm the kind of person who's always got loads of projects on the go. I like to be pushing the needle forward and trying to get things done. I am happiest when things are all moving forward. Uh, I have a few tips of how to be productive in your days off. And for me, it's I'm making sure I have a plan for the day, which I generally do the night before or at the start of the week, um, to batch similar items together so that, for example, if I need to reply to DMs, reply to texts and reply to emails, I will do those all in one fell swoop so that I'm not going back and forwards throughout the day. And I like to work out exactly the best times for me to do things. So for me, for example, exercising, I prefer to do it in the morning. It sets me up well for the day. I can tie it in with my shower and it means it's a time for me to mull over ideas and to think about things or to listen to podcasts and audio audiobooks or to make phone calls if I'm out walking. So that's just what works for me. We've got a lot to get done today. I have um, a couple of newsletters to write for my email subscriber list. If you're not signed up to that, then I will link it down in the description box below. Um, I have some videos to send off to Skillshare that um, I need to get approval for. I've got some Etsy orders to package and send, got lots of cleaning and tidying to do. Obviously I wanna hang out with Bonnie a bit and I wanna have a little pamper time. My, eye my eyebrows are in desperate need of some attention and I want to paint my toenails. We recently treated ourselves to all new bed linen. We've got a new mattress, new pillows, duvet, bed linen, the whole lot. The only thing that we need to buy still is a new bed, but we'll do that when we move house. And oh my goodness, it is so lovely getting into really soft, good quality bed sheets with really nice duvet and pillows. And we also bought a flat sheet, which we didn't use before. I didn't realize how much nicer it makes the getting into bed experience. So I would definitely recommend using one if you aren't already. Am I really late to this game or is this just something that everyone does that I didn't do? And now time to clean the bathroom. I don't know if this makes me weird, but I actually really like cleaning the bathroom. It's one of those jobs that I feel it gives a really big payoff. Really nice, clean, sparkly bathroom, clean mirrors. And I love having fresh towels and it just, yeah, makes it feel really nice. While I'm cleaning, I either listen to some really good tunes and have a good old sing along, or I listen to a podcast or an audiobook. And sometimes I put my headphones in and have a good old natter to my mum. We chat on the phone probably once or twice a week for maybe a couple of hours at a time, and somehow we never run out of things to talk about. And we text every day as well. 
I think there's something to be said for finding the joy in the small tasks of each day, like cleaning the bathroom. I feel like being able to look after the things that belong to you and make them really nice and new and sparkly is kind of like a form of self-care and showing yourself that you're worth it. I mean, I'm not gonna get too deep, it's just cleaning the bathroom, but I personally love cleaning. I find it really therapeutic and yeah, it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I've done something productive. When I pictured my life, I never thought that I would be sitting here editing a video of me cleaning my own toilet, but this is my reality and here we are, folks. <laughs> what is my life? Okay, now time to do some laundry. So I probably end up doing about one laundry load a day. I can't believe how much extra laundry it is having a dog. She just seems to make everything muddy. So yeah, laundry is another one of those things that I actually quite like doing. I really enjoy the folding and you guys know how much I love clothes and I just enjoy taking care of them and making them all lovely. So yeah, another task that I actually don't mind doing. We are joined by a very special guest. Hello, Bonnie. I'm gonna say hello to everyone. Hello. Come and have some food. Come on, you haven't eaten your breakfast this morning. Hello. You're a little cutie. Are you? You're so cute. Are you comfortable there? You're so cute. So this is the current state of the kitchen. Definitely needs a bit of a tidy up and a clean. It's not terrible, but we generally like to keep on top of it and don't like the work surfaces to get cluttered. So it's now a good time to do a bit of a clean. Now we've got the dog, I tend to find that <laughs> I have really good intentions for the day and then I end up having to go and clean up a dog poo or clean up a wee or I just want to cuddle her because she's so cute and she wants to play all the time. She is always bringing you toys to play tug of war and wanting you to throw balls for her. It's adorable having a puppy but it definitely means that I don't get as much done but I don't mind that, it's definitely worth it. The kitchen is looking sparkling clean and exactly how I like it, nice and neat. And now the kitchen's all sorted, it's time to make some soup. I make this in a big batch and yeah, I'm just chucking in basically all of our leftover veggies. Then I'll add some stock and whiz it up. And now I'm gonna get productive on the computer. I've got two newsletters to write, I've got a few emails to respond to, have a video to send to Skillshare as a draft, um, and I'm gonna plan for two Zoom meetings tomorrow. I've got a meeting with my virtual assistant and one with my video editor, so I'm gonna prep everything for those. I get straight to work on the computer and I find that once I get into a bit of a flow, it's really easy to get typing and to just keep on going. After a couple of hours, I have a break for some fudge that my friend Claire made and sent to all of us for a Secret Santa gift. Actually, it wasn't a Secret Santa because we all knew it was from her and it's absolutely incredible. I wish she sold this stuff because I would be buying it for every single person I know for gifts. It's incredible. I have that with a cup of green tea. I've been really enjoying the Pucker green teas recently. I bought a selection box and I've just been trying my way through all of them. Taking a quick break to have a cuddle. Come on then, Bonnie. <laughs> hello. Say hello to all your followers. Say hello. Oh, she's being shy. <laughs> Don't lick my face. Oh. Hello. Hello. Come and lay down. Come on. Oh. 
And now I put Bonnie down for a nap so that I can really focus and get some deep work done. And yes, I do actually put her down for a nap. <laughs> she is like a toddler. And Border Collies are working dogs. They're renowned for just keeping going and going and going and they won't put themselves to sleep. You actually have to make sure that they get some good rest. Um, and if I didn't put her down for a nap, then I wouldn't be able to concentrate at all because she would just be running up to me, jumping up at me and wanting to play all the time. So. I let her get a couple of hours of good sleep and I can get some serious work done. I am all about finding out different ways to organize yourself. And in terms of organizing my admin and all the things I do for my YouTube channel and my business, um, I use a few different methods. I often write stuff down, just pen and paper, and I have lots of scraps of paper around and different notebooks and things. But this year I have treated myself to a planner starting in 2021 and it's a big one. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, I wanted somewhere that I could keep all my notes and plan my goals, my 90 day goals, my weekly goals, my daily to do's, and so I bought myself the perfectly planned planner. And then in terms of organising things when I'm working with other people, I use Asana, which is a project management tool. And it's so user friendly. You can add tasks, you can add collaborators. And that's how I let people that I'm working with know what I'm working on and what I would like them to work on. Right. It's seven o'clock now. Vince is home from work. And... We are both ready for dinner. I've been busy working on the computer. I've written two newsletters, two blog posts. <laughs> um, I've made a thumbnail. I've written a description for a YouTube video. I've emailed lots of people back and I have sent off a video for approval. So yeah, it's been pretty, pretty busy, pretty productive day. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me for this productive day off. If you want to see more vlogs, then have a look at my playlist, which I've got loads of vlogs of what I get up to on my days off. And uh, you can come along with me for shifts at work in the hospital as a doctor. So thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you've watched all this way. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. I'll catch you next time. Bye.